Good morning! How are you, friends? Did you see what I just did there? Friend. That's friend in sign language. Take your two pointers and put it right up close. Grab and then flip. Grab. Isn't that cool? You learned a new word in sign language. Friend. Let's do it together. Friend. You are Mimi's friend. Well, I'm so excited you're here today for circle time. It is a brand new day. Go get your instruments so we can rock out to our good morning song. And if you don't have a real instrument, then you can pretend. I got my trusty guitar here. I'm going to rock it out. Yeah, I am. Oops. <laughs> All right, here we go. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Our day is beginning, there's so much to do. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you and you and you and you and you. Good morning. How are all of you? I hope you're well. I have missed you over the weekend and I'm so glad we are back together again today and let us get moving because we got to get the wiggles out right so let's do how about we do a little hokey pokey I just love the hokey pokey I mean it's so much fun it gets you moving dancing um, for those that are younger, learning different body parts, it also gets you to learn your left from your right. Now, here we are, we are opposite, okay? I'm facing you, you're facing me, so my right is going to be your left. You know what opposites are, right? So, if I say on, the opposite would be off. If I say up on top, the opposite would be down below. If I said um, hot, the opposite would be cold. That's right. So if we're mirror opposites, my right would be actually this hand for you, right? Okay. I should say correct instead of right because it's getting confusing. All right, let's go. Let's go. Here we go. You put your right arm in, you put your right arm out, you put your right arm in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Left arm, you put your left arm in, you put your left arm out. Put your left arm in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Let's do right leg. Put your right leg in, you put your right leg out. You put your right leg in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Left leg. Put your left leg in, you put your left leg out. You put your left leg in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You put your head in, you put your head out. You put your head in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You put your whole self in, you put your whole self out. A whole self in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Woo! Oh. That helped a lot. Got my heartbeat going. Got me, you know, get a little of those wiggles out. All right, we are ready to get into our circle time. Well, friends, I wanted to do a super duper shout out today. Somebody reached out to me on Instagram and told me that their daughter watches every day. So I have to do a super duper shout out to Sonia in Poland. Wow, I'm so glad that we are reaching you there, and I'm so glad that you're tuning in every day. That couldn't make me happier, and I hope you'll enjoy this session. Well, you know we always start with a card, right? So, let's see. Do you remember the letter of the week? I'll give you a clue. It... Can you see that? Do you see what those are? What is this bracelet made out of? 
beads. That's right. B -b beads and b -b bracelet. What letter starts those words? Beads and bracelet. That's right, the letter B. Kiss your brain. Mwah. Very good. I'm going to put this on. Mm. Add to my bracelets here. Well, I have a card that also has something to do with the letter B. Mm. Let's put that up nice and close so you can see. Look at this card. What is that girl doing? That's right, she's brushing her hair. What is a brush used for? That's right, combing out tangles, combing out major bedhead, right? When you wake up in the morning and your hair is standing on all different ends and you want to tame it down, right? That's what the, the brush is for. Now, what is a comb used for? I mean, she's using a brush, but there's also a comb that you could use. What's the difference? Oh, some of you say for shorter hair. Others of you say to get those little flyaways, the real, so it's really, really, mm, okay, different. Mm -hmm. Now, why do people comb or brush their hair? That is a good question. Why would you do that? Well, so you don't look like a mess, right, when you wake up. <laughs> yes, we want to comb and tame our hair so it's not sticking up, so it doesn't get knotty, and then you have to end up cutting it because you can't get the knots out, right? We want it to be smooth or at least be able to run your hands through it or, you know, just so it's t tamed down. Now, some people have very curly hair, like I do. Um, sometimes I blow it out, as you see, but some people have very curly or kinky or thick hair, and it takes them a lot longer to brush through. Um, but we definitely want our hair to be formed and tamed and not all over the place. All right, so who brushes or combs your hair? Oh, mommy? Daddy? You do? Oh, wow, some of you are such big boys and girls. You comb your own hair? I got to admit something. I was like eight years old before I really started caring for my own hair. So you guys are younger than I was. I always got really bad knots and I was afraid and then I, ooh, it hurt, but you gotta get it combed out, right? When do you brush your hair? In the morning, right? Oh, some of you said before bed. That's a good idea too, because at the end of the day, it probably got naughty again, or you were playing outside and it just got all wild or wind blown or whatever. And mm -hmm, there you go. Well, let's get into our calendar. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Well, as you see here, we are halfway through the month. I can't believe the month is almost over. Now, yesterday, yesterday, take a step back, yesterday was Tuesday. Tuesday the 16th. Well, today, jump into today. Today is not the 16th, but it's the 17th, right? Because we say 14, 15, 16, 17. Now, would 17 look, let's see, all the teens have a one in front of it. They have 110. Mm -hmm. But the ones digit changes. We go from a four to a five to a six to a, a seven. Which one of these is 17? Is it this one or is it this one? If you said this one, you are correct. Good job, friends. All right, today is Wednesday, November 17th. Nice job. Let's count down. We got the birthday countdown coming. Let's see how many more days till Mimi's birthday. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <gasps> it's just a week away. So excited. We're gonna have to have a special birthday read for that one. Let's look at our numbers down below. 
So today is the 17th of November. How many ones should we have for 17? I'll give you a hint. 17. Seven. We should have seven. Let's see if we have seven in here. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's 16. That's not going to cut it. We need another straw. I have one. Seven ones and one ten make the number 17. Today, we're going to do an activity with patterns. Now, there's all different kinds of patterns. There's AB patterns, ABC patterns, ABBA patterns. We're going to do a simple one. We're going to do, well, let me show you by sound first. How about this? Tap, clap. I'm hitting my knees. Try that. Tap, clap, tap, clap, tap, clap. That's a simple pattern known as an AB, AB pattern. Tap, clap. Do it with me. We could do it another way. We could do it another way. Tap, 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 tap. Tap my shoulders, tap my head. Let's try it. Shoulder, head, shoulder, head, shoulder, head. We could do sounds like Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. That's a pattern. Okay, so we're down on the ground. I hope you have a comfortable spot. Do you remember the other day we had taken our counter bears, ba -ba bear for me, and put them into the, we sorted them into the correct color cup, and we also counted them. Well, let's dump them out. Ooh, I love playing with these. And let's make them into a pattern. Let's remember our pattern. Let's do the AB pattern. We'll tap the floor and we'll clap our hands. Let's try it. A, B, A, B, A, B. Remember an AB pattern is doing one thing, then doing something different, then coming back to the first thing and going back to the second thing. Well, let's do that with our counters. Which color should we pick first? I agree with you. Orange is our color of the month. We should do that first. So we have, I gotta back up a little bit. Okay. So we have orange, then we go to the other color, purple, then we go back to the first color, orange, then what comes next? That's right, purple. So we have orange, purple, orange, purple, Orange, that's right, good job. Now what comes next? If you don't remember, go back through the pattern. Orange, purple, orange, purple, orange, purple. You guys are so smart. Now what comes next? Orange again. Then should we do orange? No, I couldn't trick you. We do purple. So let's see. Orange, purple, orange, purple, orange, purple, orange, purple, orange, purple. You guys are super duper smart. And you can practice this pattern with beads on bracelets. You can practice this pattern just doing sounds. And as the time goes on, we could do more complex patterns like or All right, so let's move along. Well, here we are at our circle time center. We got to get all this done so we can finish up circle time. Let's see. Today is Wednesday. Good job. Wednesday, November. It's the day after the 16th. That's right, 17. You're so smart. Today is Wednesday, November 17th, 2021. We're moving right along. Do you know what the weather is by you? The weather here is kind of, it's not raining anymore, but
but it's still overcast, which means it's a little cloudy. So I need to change mine from raining, not windy, but cloudy. The sun was out earlier, but now it's gone. It's going behind the clouds, just like in this picture. Poor Mr. Sun. So we don't need the raincoat anymore, and we definitely don't need the rain boots. What should we wear today? Hmm. Do you think um, a winter hat would be good? Actually, I do. It's gotten really cold here. That rain brought out some very, very cold weather. It's only in the 40s here. So I'm going to put that out there because it's really cold. You can't get by with a light sweater. And let's see. Would we wear a tank top? How about a long sleeve shirt? Definitely. Definitely need that long sleeve shirt. Great job, friends. Let's count it up. We said today's the 17th. We need 17 gumballs in our machine. Do we have 17 already? Let's see. One, two. Oh, remember we learned how to count by fives. Silly me. Let's see. Five, 10, 15, and one more makes 16. We need to add another gumball. And I have just the one. 17. 5, 10, 15, 16, 17. All right. Remember, we're still learning about the letter B, B, B. What do I have that begins with a B? Hmm. I thought I had something around here. Oh, I do. What's this? It B, B bounces. And funny, it's the color of the month. It's a basketball. B, B, basketball has two B's in it. Do you have something that begins with the letter B? Oh, ooh, that's good. I see what you have there. You're wearing a bow tie. Look at you, all dapper. Mm-hmm. Ooh, and you have a barrette in your hair. Nice. Okay. Well, our words here were book and boat. Oh, it's rhyme time. Do you know what my favorite song is when I want to think of rhymes? Do you know Down by the Bay? Sing it with me. Down by the bay where the watermelons grow. Back to my home I dare not go. For if I do, my mother would say, did you ever see a fly wearing a tie down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home, I dare not go, for if I do, my mother would say, did you ever see llamas wearing pajamas down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home, I dare not go. For if I do, my mother would say, Did you ever see a frog sitting on a log down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow? Back to my home, I dare not go. For if I do, my mother would say, Did you ever have a time when you couldn't make a rhyme down by the bay? Well, our rhymes were pan and fan. And yesterday I said, if you take a different letter and put it in front of an, you'll make a new word. And we picked the letter M and made man. Is there another letter we can put in front of an to make a new word that rhymes with pan and fan? What if we took the letter T? T, -t. This is the sign language for letter T. T, an. And tan, like the color, like a light brown. Actually, I might be wearing a little tan in my shirt. Tan, tan, pan, fan, man, they all rhyme. <laughs> you know what I forgot? I didn't even realize this number was here. That's not the right number, is it? We said there's 17 bubble gum, bu gu 17 gumballs, but this number doesn't match. That says a one and a one, that's 11. We need a one and a seven. Luckily I have it. 
17. Well, I hope you had a good time. I enjoyed spending my day with you. And I will see you back here tomorrow for another circle time. Woo!